This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. The San Diego Navy sailor accused of selling military information to the Chinese government will be back in federal court facing more charges today. The original indictment accusing 22 year old of Jin Chao Wei, also known as Patrick Wei, of accepting bribes in exchange for information and alleged that he transmitted documents, sketches, plans, notes and other information to his Chinese handler. The counts increased from four to seven, including three specific counts of sending export controlled technical data. The U.S. attorney says this is the first time the crime of espionage has been charged in this district, which speaks to the seriousness of the allegations. San Diego indeed has a storied history with the United States Navy. We are the home port of the U.S. Pacific Fleet Surface Navy, with more than 50 U.S. Navy ships based here. Naval Base San Diego is critically important to U.S. security. That's why this conduct is personal for San Diego. The arraignment is set for 2 o'clock this afternoon downtown. No cameras are allowed inside, but we'll have a crew there and bring you the latest on NBC7.com. And we're getting our first look at the man who escaped from a San Diego police station right after being arrested Tuesday night. This morning, police are still searching for Dondre Johnson. They say he walked right through the lobby and out the front door in handcuffs. Police say they originally arrested him as part of a vice operation. He is about six feet, one inch tall, 180 pounds. If you think you have seen him, contact police. A 19 year old is facing up to 20 years behind bars after authorities say he tried to storm the cockpit on Alaska Airlines flight multiple times. The plane was flying from San Diego to Virginia. Nathan Jones has been charged with one count of interference with a flight crew for an incident almost two weeks ago. An affidavit said Jones made three separate attempts to go to the front of the plane and open the cockpit door. Flight attendants say when asked what he was doing, Jones said he was quote, testing them. NBC7 spoke with a retired pilot who says Jones was more of a threat to himself than other passengers. The guy was no threat to safety. The Alaska pilots didn't even divert. He couldn't have gotten through the door with a gun. Off-duty law enforcement officers on the flight restrained Jones until the plane landed. Inside his bag, investigators found multiple notebooks with descriptions of how to operate an aircraft. There was also a student pilot license in his wallet. Jones is being held at a detention center in Virginia. His lawyer says he wants Jones to undergo a psychological evaluation before any kind of trial. Today, the city's environment committee will consider next steps in the effort to revitalize 505 acres of prime real estate in the northwest corner of Mission Bay. The land used to be home to a mobile home park, but it was torn down last year. There have now been three main stakeholders in all of this. The environmentalists who would like to see the area return to climate friendly wetlands, recreational sports advocates who want to protect the golf course and softball fields and create more space for water activities and campers who would like to see more space for camping along the bay. This latest amendment takes all of that into account. It was unanimously approved by the Planning Commission after a four hour meeting in December where a lot of community members shared what they'd like to see happen. My passion is for kids and families to have safe parks to learn to play and grow and develop as beautiful people. We should do nothing to displace this current De Anza recreation area and if possible, increase it. The Environment Committee will talk about the plan at today's meeting at one and the public is invited to weigh in. After that, the plan would still need to go before the full city council. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at this Thursday forecast. Hi, Sheena. Hi, Monica. As we head through the afternoon today, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. We have offshore Santa Ana winds, but they're not going to be as strong as areas to our north. That's where we have the advisories and the warnings. So locally, we're just looking at that breezy offshore wind mountains, maybe 25 miles per hour. Mountains have a very slight chance for an afternoon shower. The coast and inland valleys will be in about the upper 60s today. As we head through tonight, cool temperatures again overnight, pretty chilly in some areas, mostly clear for the coast and inland valleys. Mountains could see a chance for rain and snow showers. We'll look at tomorrow's rain chances coming up. Thank you, Sheena. Right now, students are competing in the 54th annual San Diego County Regional Spelling Bee. We'll take you inside the competition happening today next. 
NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response is dedicated to helping you. You guys were able to get a different result. I have so much gratitude. Whether it's in Spanish or English. We're one team. One team. Investigating, getting answers, making sure every phone call, every email gets a response. Because this isn't just our job. This is our community too. And we're here to help. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response. One team fighting for you and your money. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. A man is in federal custody after police say he tried to break into a high ranking Navy officer's home on base. NBC 7's Nicole Gomez has video of the overnight arrest from Point Loma. Well, the attempted burglary happened right behind those gates right there. It's where a handful of high ranking Navy officers live. Just to give you an idea of the neighborhood, the house next door here is estimated to be worth about $15 million on Redfin. Here's new video from overnight showing the arrest. San Diego police say they responded around 445 this morning to the gated naval base community. Officers with SDPD as well as Navy police arrived on scene and found the suspect being held down by one of the Navy residents. The man was taken into federal custody. Investigators say he climbed the wall to get into the gated area and then tried to enter one of the homes by breaking a front door window. He left when he realized someone was home and then and broke into a nearby car. That's when one of the residents managed to hold him down until police arrived. Well, Naval police have since taken over the investigation, and once again, the suspect is going to be charged in federal court since this is Naval Base property. Reporting from Point Loma, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. Today, dozens of local students are going head to head, letter by letter, for a chance to compete on a national stage. NBC7's Audra Stafford takes us inside the 54th annual San Diego County Regional Spelling Bee. Hey Siri, how do you spell exsufflation? Excavation. E X C A. Not even Siri can spell last year's winning word in the county regional spelling bee. And trust me, the words the kids in here are being asked to spell today are equally T-O-U-G-H. Now, a poblano. No matter the part of speech, definition, or. Can you please give me the language of origin? Today's goal is clearly spelled out to be the last one standing at the 2024 San Diego County Regional Spelling Bee. More than 80 6th through 8th grade students are competing. To get to this point, each one had to take the top spot at their own school's B. They're all winners by the fact that they're here. Um, so it's, it's great to see them all here and, and to be able to recognize them for what they've already accomplished. Correct. From the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA in Mountain View, I'm Audra Stafford. B C 7. I have a lot of respect for those kiddos. The winner will go on to compete in the National Spelling Bee. An eighth grader at Mesa Verde Middle School has won the local contest the last two years. He's hoping for a three-peat. To see how he's been preparing, go to NBC7.com. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20's Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen bringing you the first alert of a tornado warning. If you're just tuning in, this is a tornado warning. This is for this area that you're seeing on the map. Constantly updating you. If you're in this area, make sure you seek shelter, interior hallway or closet. And staying with you until the potential for danger passed. We no longer have the tornado warning that was for East County. Chief Meteorologist Sheena Parveen and the first alert weather team. Coverage you count on. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today, we'll be in the upper 60s for the coast and inland valleys. Mix of sun and clouds, a breezy offshore wind in the mountains, very slight shower chance this afternoon, and then another chance overnight. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty chilly tomorrow morning. We do have a rain chance tomorrow inland. It's going to be a slight chance for a shower for the inland valleys. Very small chance at the coast. The weekend looks pretty good. Upper 60s at the coast around 70 inland. Warmer early next week. Mountains will see a rain chance tomorrow. Maybe some rain snow showers and the deserts will also see a chance tomorrow. Thank you, Sheena. Take a look at this cute new baby at the zoo. Check it out. The San Diego Wildlife Alliance, Alliance tweeted this video of the Dick Dick Antelope family. They say that's the tiniest one. It's named Abiba. The new Dick Dick calf was born to parents Chloe and Shaggy and when fully grown, these antelopes weigh between six to 13 pounds. More coverage account on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching.